Hello freaks and geeks and welcome to another ASRC Oval Series Race Weekend. And this week we're at Indi Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'll never say uh, in Indianapolis, right? The first time of me <laughs> trying to say it. Um, to be f honest, I am not even really quite sure if I want to qualify up towards the front. Um... In all honesty, because I have a, I have a plan, a strategy plan that may or may not work. Um, fuel is going to be very, very tight around here. So, I am, I, I'm debater, I debated whether or not I should even set the, these laps in the first place. Uh, but, I mean, oh, oh my goodness, that was, the car got tight right there. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time lap. I'm not gonna be pushing all that hard. Um, just because I do want to actually start here in the back, so... Just gonna take it nice and easy. Why do I want to start in the back, you might think? Um, well, because I'm gonna be fuel saving pretty much the entire first stint, for the most part. And I might even need to take a... Uh, safe for the second step. Oh my god. Oh, well, there goes my second lap, even if I wanted to. No damage to report. Even if I didn't want to. Or do better. Well, at least. At least that didn't damage the car. It, it, it's, this track is very weird uh, whenever it comes to damage, because sometimes you can tap the wall like that and it will damage the car and other times it will give you front end damage at the end of the at, at the end of the day this is still a game <laughs> but yeah we're <sighs> We're looking for um, around six, around sixty or so. Um, point sixty of uh, fuel usage per lap. That's our initial goal, at least for the first time. You can actually technically make it on the first stint with just, with, um, with that, not that much fuel saving, with around, um, 70, 70 um, u fuel usage, but that's cutting it a little close. Especially with us having to do a, um, a pace lap. Uh... The officials are telling us they won't I mean, it's a pretty long driving. pace lap. Your lap won't count yeah, sure, we're not going at full pace, over. still. That's, uh... I mean, I think that's still around, like, a quarter. A quarter of a tank that we're going to use. Before we actually start on the race. Pit box team, 10. Now, I don't know what else, what Five. other people are going to be doing. Maybe people Three, in front of me can two, save enough fuel 
One. and still be fast right enough, here. so. We're just gonna have to see. All right. Oh, I have everyone muted. Hopefully, uh, hold on. One to go, luck, six time by. Line okay, up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. I was about to say, let the me... The estimated SOF is 2007. Let me unmute everyone. A lot of opportunities today. Head down. Pick your battle. All right. Hmm, looks like Brandon Feeney is starting behind us. I wonder if they're gonna do the exact same thing. I d I'd actually, I don't know if they actually even set a qualifying lap. Still waiting on two cars to grid. Either way, on the final car to grid. or, I there mean, I don't know if they did that on purpose, because race. they're gonna be Move fuel saving like I run. am, Everyone or if, gridded. uh... Or what's the deal? Fourteen, car. You can't hear you, Jason. I was gonna say something and no one else did. Catch up, fourteen, car. Looks like Jason had to go back in the pits for something. I guess, I'm guessing technical issues, difficulties. They're, they've been having a lot of issues lately. My check. My check. Gotcha. Yeah, it's gonna suck down when you start with the pits, but uh, I had to make sure my mic was actually working. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, how's the mic work out your head? Get ready, going green. Now I'm gonna take the start like normal, just... Sorry guys, I had a 
clear inside. Oh wow, fucking tires. Kind of forgot how cold that they can be. Okay, I'm seeing they're Clear. braking a little bit earlier to try to save fuel. Yeah, I honestly don't really know how to fuel save all that well. To be honest, I am just gonna do what I'm gonna do and not really worry about what anyone else is doing. kind of increase my uh I do kind of get a little bit closer in the corners I I'm just guessing that they're using full throttle on the straights Corey, if you get up close to me and want to pass, let me know. My brake is um, on or off. I have no control of it right now, so we pit, so I will head screwed. Alright. I'm probably not going to get close to him. Car 44 has taken the lead. how that could be possible. I mean, once I actually start pushing, I might be able to catch uh, Sparks. corner especially 
I mean, I know I'm fuel saving and I'm slow at this point, but... Everyone else is probably going to be able to also make it to a one-stop territory, but... Now the car's starting to get a little tight on me. No damage, car looks clean. Well, at least that was a clean smack on the wall. Shit, I'm surprised that that didn't do any wheel damage. It might, I don't know why the... My, it got like this once before. Well, I just lost a ton of time. You're losing on the current front. The gap is 5.3 seconds. Maybe it's because I am going too slow. And it's just, it's causing the tires to, I don't know, do something weird. Because underdriving a car can also lead to, um, leads to stabi stabi stability issues with the car. And some setups and some cars. Looks like I'm gonna be able to make it. Just barely though. Well about a lap. Oh well, at least. I'm just wondering if everyone's gonna be pitting on lap 20. I can definitely pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah, I need a... I need to just use a little bit of gas here. I need to stop lifting on and off the gas like that because that's actually what's making the car want to drift into the wall.
We can definitely make it over lap 20 now, so we can actually start pushing a little bit. I hit a bump or something that that was weird Five laps of fuel. I don't know why that, why the rear end on, went on me like that, but 
thankfully we didn't lose control of the car. The car behind is closing on you. The gap is 2.6 seconds. Looks like everyone's actually is able to make the one stop work. That's fine. I wouldn't be able to. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I would have been able to keep up the pace if I actually pushed. But I definitely wouldn't have been able to keep up the uh, fuel situation. At least I don't think so. I don't know, hindsight is 2020. This is felt this is what I felt most comfortable doing. And uh, let's just see how it goes in the end. Hidden in. I'm gonna have to pit in this time. Which is totally fine. The lead is pitting now. Because this is what lap I was planning on pitting anyways. Um, either 20 going on 21 or 21 going on 22. We have about one lap of fuel left. Yeah, I wouldn't have, I, even if I was to go around next time. Don't forget to pit this lap for more fuel. Yeah, I would be cutting it very, very close on fuel. Car 100, each gate has taken the lead. The car in front is pitting. Well, that totally ruined my race. Sorry about that, Jason. That, that more so ruined my race, but I was checking behind me. Pit box team, 10. And then I didn't notice that the pit... Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. All the damage is repairable. <laughs> Pin this time. Now. Oh, okay, I'm serving the penalty right now. Okay, that's good. Well, good thing about this is I, uh... Uh... Don't have to worry about this, um, about this penalty looming over me. Go, go, go! You only have one tire death remaining. My game kind of froze and that gave me- God damn it! I can't find it! I was able to fix my brakes that tip, uh, so anybody around me should be okay now. Outside. Clear outside. Well that sucks, my game stuttered and I went on the grass, going <laughs> coming out.
Well, I don't have to worry about fuel anymore because I'm a lap down and everything. I forgot to pull up the standings for myself. What is actually damage? damage on the front end? Just on the front end? Okay. I might actually have to watch out for water temp. Am I the only one to let down? Alright, yeah. I will get around him if I can, um, but I'm a lap down, he's fifth, and first place is still miles up ahead, so... I mean, I will have my looks and stuff, but I won't be too aggressive or anything like that. And plus, I have front-end damage. Um, it doesn't look like any of my temps are going up. My real only hope now is a yellow, um, but I don't see that happening. But who knows, I, I stranger things has happened. Don't be the caution! <laughs> no. Now I'm just falling away, which is no big surprise because of my friend and damage and whatnot. I don't even think I would have the pace if I didn't have a damaged car. Race looks bleak. It's totally fine though. Um, 
We still get, we still could get saved by a pit, uh, or not pit stop, by a, um, by a yellow. Outside. Outside, clear. And plus, they said all the damage could be repairable, so... In theory, I could get a lucky dog... Get the repair damage, and even possibly some new tires. But then again, everyone would also want to come in for new tires. Oh my god, there's another fucking jitter. Basically, ten more laps to go. I'm really surprised nothing has happened. It's been just a pretty, pretty boring, uh, pretty boring race so far. Why does the car want to keep on step step out on me like that? Sorry. sorry. feeling like very wor squirvy and worvy. And like even in a straight line. I don't know if the fun is, is causing that. I mean he was even feeling like that in the first thing. Great job. Like, I don't want to blame it on, um, I don't want to blame it on, uh, bumps on the track, because I just don't know actually how bumpy this that track is. Like, see, that was the banking. That was the change of banking right there. But as far as, like, say, in the middle of a straight right here, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the momentum of my of the tires or whatnot or something going on with the exit of the corner and the momentum still that's being there. Well, that's on me. I probably shouldn't have even played your fuel game like that, but... Oh, 
just hitting. I think this is where the standings would actually be going. When you get up here in the position of yours, I didn't observe that at all. Who's pitting exactly? Oh, Jason. Well. I thought I got their bad luck for this race. Looks like number four has some um, really bad damage that's slowing them down. I remember something over comms. I mean, there's still, there's still time for a, um, caution, and there's still time for someone else to wreck or, you know, have to go into the pits. The leader is running. So, I mean, I still, I still can technically get a top ten right now. I just have to get lucky. not shut the fuck up it's going very poorly I'm just not I'm just not chuffed about it or you have about five laps of fuel left the opposite I'm not mad about whatever you get what I mean I use that in the wrong context don't blame me I'm going like almost 190 miles per hour <laughs> my brain is currently occupied Yeah, I think I could have just went normal pace. Hmm. Yeah, I probably would have had to save, have to save a little bit, but yeah. Oh well. Things you could have, you know, you thought of in hindsight. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. That wasn't good. goodness I was able to keep the car under control and it didn't like snap around the other way or to the right yeah up into the wall I 
I really don't need to be pushing this hard. <laughs> but I am. I don't know why. Nice job running green flag the whole way, Good win, Mark. Yeah, man. Good, good drive, everybody. Thank you. I'm kind of surprised it went from green all the way through. I mean, I, it's, I mean, I kind of needed yellow, but I'm, well, I'm kind of am and not surprised that it went green all the way through. I would have expected someone to have made a mistake and caused a yellow just by self-spinning or something, but, but yeah, it's, I mean, it was kind of another lackluster kind of, I mean, on my end, boring race. Um, I tried to make a strategy work, and it really didn't work. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Okay, we'll get him next time. Again, okay, sorry, Johnny, I'm sorry, you need a back there. Look at this asshole behind me. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make another Feeny joke. Pitboxing, 10. Looks like Five. his strategy okay, didn't pan out as, Bring it on in. as well Three, as some other two, people. One. Right here. All the damage is uh, If I didn't actually absolutely fucked up, fucked up Pit Road, uh, Pit Road, I, um, I maybe would have been able to finish, like, Around 8th or so, I want to say. So, oh, okay, even if there was a yellow, I think at that point I didn't really look at the relative or the standings, but um, I, pro I wouldn't have gotten the lucky dog anyways. Um, at least towards the end of the race. So. Yeah. Not that great of a race, but, uh. Yeah, not that great of a race, but, uh, I mean, you know. It is what it is. Um, didn't really have that much practice. I haven't honestly been racing all that much, as you can tell by the lack of content. I'm gonna try to start racing some, you know, some of my, uh, you know, more raced series that I like to do. Um, it's just, I, I honestly haven't really been 
feeling up to you know, to actually do any racing just because of how the racing's been unofficial it's just been i don't know i, I feel like it's it's been a chore um not exactly to record because recording is not that big of a deal it's more so just going through the process of looking out for all the other you know dumb people that is in official racing here is you know racing in the league you know with other people that you know how they race and you know um everything like that is different because you can get a sense of how they race and yeah it's a little bit more comfortable and everything like that but yeah before i start rambling on a little bit too much um at least we didn't finish last, but we still finished outside the top 10, which, eh. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> please give it a like. If you want to see more of this content, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you freaks and geeks in the next video. Bye.